Um, but basically what you're looking for is, um, first you want to differenti differentiate between an igneous rock and a sedimentary rock. And if you get there, um, just basically describe the igneous rock you can see, um, color, appearance, and, um, and then try to think about what type it is. Is it a lava flow? Um, so that's kind of the most common igneous rock we know. Um, or is it maybe something different? If you think about kind of um, volcanic or magmatic activity, there are different kinds. Um, and then, yeah, see, well, see what you think. Um, and also, you see these sedimentary rocks you see here. And um, what do you think? What's a dip like? Hmm? The tilting direction. Mm. No, I mean if you can, if you just show with your hands, what do they dip like? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah exactly. So they yeah. dip like this. Yeah, or not? Uh huh. So um, it's that something that you should keep in mind uh, when uh, going through question two. Mm. And then. David told me that um, you talked about salt diapirs. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, and then, well, that would basically be your, your final task. Think about um, whether you can compare the features you see here with that of um, salt diaper appearance. Okay, so let's go down here and have a look around. Like this, what does it mean? The next one. This is the right place. Okay. I'll put it in the YouTube. You need to go further that way. Um, you can already have kind of a quick look at these type of rocks here. See whether you can see any differences. Ah, yeah. You can get along the beach, but... I mean, we do see... Nah, well, maybe not as... Well, yeah, okay. What we can see here is the fact that you've got nice, coarse sandstone beds and quite a lot of dark mudstone. Follow Elena. She's now on message. Identify two different types of rock. I mean, what can you see just from like having a look around? What do you see? That's igneous, right? Okay. The black one. The black one, exactly. Mm -hmm. Igneous. Igneous rock. The black, black one. The black one over there. Where? Okay, no. that one over there. And the yeah, the black is up there. Okay. Um, aha, so we've got an igneous rock. It is one type of rock. Mm -hmm. We've got igneous, metamorphic, and uh, sedimentary. Um, yeah, exactly. So the other type of rock you have here is. Uh huh. Okay, and that's orange stuff down here. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the sedimentary rock that you have here is a sandstone. And um, 
Now I want you to walk over there and have a look at the Ignis rock, at the black rock, and tell me what do you think, how it got in place, where is it coming from? And hmm? um, so basically, last one. So, and um, oh, the black stuff over there. Okay. Yeah, it's all in your field guide as well. Is this location one or? Uh, two. Locality two. Is it a fault or is it just a joint or probably someone just chopped this off? It looks like a fracture to me. A fracture? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's actually, where well, it's a fracture within one type, one block of rock. Um, so it doesn't really displace okay. individual units. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have different types of igneous rocks here, okay? Okay. So one type that basically you are standing on here yeah. is it's quite massive. You said it's fractured as well. Um, if you have a closer look, you will see there are little bubbles in there. No, the, the real Air Force. Okay. Yes. Are we at war? No. <laughs> Just practice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there are a few military bases in this area. Oh, okay. Let's identify the igneous rocks in the locality. So here, so far you've got at least two types. You've got the structuralist one and you've got a... Um, and we don't want to call it sediment so far. Oh, yeah, but if we focus just on the igneous ones, kind of a igneous fracture. Um, so we get you different types basically of igneous rock and then of course you also have the sedimentary rock uh, which has a different origin. So you say how can we call this? Sorry. Um, can we call it? I would call it a volcanic or igneous fracture. Okay. So the two different types is this and this. So far, this is what I can see. If you have a look around, I mean, unfortunately, we don't have that much time. You maybe see more. Um, I mean, this is just what I can recognize from being here for a few minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so, 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 excuse me. So, volcanic mm -hmm. and igneous are the same, the same one type. Uh, or yes. Yeah. And okay. the other, the other type of, of igneous was. Uh, there's also plutonic. Plutonic yeah. is here or. Um, I don't see any. So what's, what's the main difference with this, for example, in the texture? I don't know. Uh, bet uh, between this and the plutonic one? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so, plutonic ones... More, more massive, maybe? I don't know. Um, they're more crystalline. Crystalline. Yeah, they have... Uh, where they tend to have a nice crystalline mm -hmm. um, texture. It's something that you don't see here. When you look at this one, I mean, you see just a black mass, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really see individual crystals. Yeah. There are crystals, but they are very small. Mm. And that's typically... Mm -hmm. So the different types of ignos rock we have are the plutonic and... Mm. No, 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 don't no, get no, confused here. with the plutonic. That's a different mm. thing. No, no plutonic here. So there are no plutonic here. So which ones do we have here? Uh, the volcanic, volcanic or igneous. Okay. And structureless, massive. Rock. Okay, structureless. Mm -hmm. um, so lava okay. is a type of emplacement, basically. So you think about a volcano, magma rocks, and then you have a lava flow going down the hill, basically. Structure. Um, yeah, 
Uh, you did the right movement. Sorry, there are things that I don't I'm sorry. I, maybe I don't understand. Between the love okay. and the uh, So, okay. Um, so you have a um, volcanic eruption, okay? Yeah. So you have magma rising up from the crust or the mantle. And when the magma reaches the surface, we call it lava. It's still kind of more or less fluid rock. Um, and the lava flow is basically a flow of liquid uh, rock um, erupting from a volcano, from a vent. Um, well, in those cases. And it will cool down with time. That can take days, sometimes it takes weeks or months. I mean, there are different theories. And um, so that's one type of how an igneous rock can be produced. So the stuff that we see here. But there's only one way. Another way is, and you kind of made the right hand movement already, is it's actually coming up from kind of from, from the deeper ground and it cools during that process already so it actually doesn't reach the surface so it doesn't become a volcano it just gets stuck and that's what we get here in fact um, it's not always very easy to recognize um, but I'm not an expert on these kind of rising um, magma bodies which we call intrusions um, however I know more or less what lava flows look like and that's how I can now tell it's not a lava flow excuse me when the lava quickly uh, falls in the surface is plutonic or volcanic um, the boundaries are very um, gradual mm -hmm. so yeah technically it could it would be plutonic yeah. So an intrusion is maybe a type of plutonic, but we would not call this plutonic anyway. We just call it an intrusion, which is a bit more specific. Mm -hmm. um, a plutonic body is normally, how at least how I uh, understand it, is more a more defined body of magma rising up and then getting stuck in the crust and then forms nice. Uh, plutonic, I mean solid plutonic bodies like granite for example, it's a good example mm -hmm. okay. and so stuff that we get around Aberdeen a lot. Um, this type of igneous rock is an intrusion so it went up and um, where, in which other rock did it get stuck? You can see it actually from this locality here. Sandstone. Exactly, in the sandstone. It got stuck in the sandstone. Okay. And um, uh, and then when you look around, well, I was um, mentioning that already, um, the tilt, the general tilt or dip of these um, sedimentary rocks is basically going uh, kind of that way, yeah? This is what you can see just from basically comparing the different um, bed surfaces. So, well, how can I define this? Like, aside the fact that I change this way. So, what's the direction then? The what? What's the direction? You so said it's going this way. Oh, yeah, I can see it just by. You see this uh, nice surface over yeah. there, yeah? So, the rock is basically going down like this, yeah? Yeah. And so I know the dip <coughs> is going this way. That's all. Um, okay, mm -hmm. what you're gonna do is, um, I think we need to hurry up probably. Um, mm -hmm. So you need to go to the next locality basically. Um, what, what pictures of this mine might be analog? Exactly, mine? yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you know of salt diopier so far? What do they do they with the rock? They they prevent um, uh, they from from mm -hmm. uh, yeah they come from from, from lower down and uh, they come up they intrude a host rock basically mm. and they, yeah they deform it exactly so they will disturb the original uh, tilt dip structures whatever you find in the rock 
do you think something similar happened here? If you just kind of, if you, um, I mean, we are now, right now, standing on this igneous rock that intruded the um, sandstone. And if you maybe have a look just at the sandstone adjacent to the igneous rock, what do you see? Do you see it maybe did something similar? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The igneous rock comes from the bottom and then it displaces the sandstone. Separate uh, mm, could happen, maybe. Yeah. But what else does it do to the rock? They separate the two rocks, the same type of rock. It, it does separate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Like, like a fault? It, go, it would probably move up along a fold, yeah, or weak zones within the rock, yeah, mm -hmm. So what it does is it um, basically disturbs all original structures. And that's why if you look at this orangey sandstone here, it's, it's not very nicely um, bedded or anything like the sandstone we can see over there, um, like 50 meters away from here. It's all pretty rubbly. Um, I would say it's quite structureless, it's very chaotic. I don't see much regular um, bedding or orientation. Yeah, it's not there. Very um, chaotic. And this is caused by the volcanic, by the igneous intrusion. It basically oh, pushed everything away and then compress um, maybe the rock. But basically, what it does is like <coughs> um, messing everything up a little bit. And uh, yeah, basically. Uh -huh. So it's, it's kind of a it's a disturbed and chaotic version of that nicely battered sandstone over there. Exactly. So also by just seeing this one here and comparing with this one over there, you can see it's actually only a local feature. So um, that intrusion only influence its post rock on a relatively short distance.